see? This side there is a big number. You know what is this? Well, it is a Roman number and it means 9,25,674. I hope you can understand that today we're gonna work on Roman numbers. Hi guys, this is Adna, you are watching Bring the Love. Today we're having Priscilla from Rome who's gonna help us discuss about the mysterious topic on Roman numerals. So let's go ahead. First thing that comes to my mind is why do we learn Roman numerals? Well, there are four things that we must know. The first thing is it combines math and history. We'll obviously talk about math in the whole video, but just one line for the history. The Roman numerals were developed in 500 BC. The Romans conquered much of the world and spread their numeral system throughout Europe. From then, the Roman numerals are the main numeral system all over the world for centuries and centuries. So the second part, a second point to be very specific is it provides a new representations of numbers. Now we find the normal Roman numbers in books and we also find them in clocks like the Big Bang clock in London. It can also reinforce the idea of place value very well. And the last point is it's fun! Well, every people know that it is a mysterious and it's a hard topic, but actually, after this video, you will understand every number and say it is really fun. So let's go ahead. First, you must learn the basic numerals, which are I is 1, V is 5, X is 10, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and finally, M is 1000. The Roman people had only discovered the numbers till 1000 as they felt difficulties a number over 1000. Pause the video and learn them first, and then come back to us. Add smaller symbols. Uh, smaller values that are placed after uh, large symbol values. You can also place them before if you want a lesser number than a round one. And if you want more, then you must place them after them. After the great number. Okay, so I hope you have learned of the basic numbers and we're going forward with to learn about the ones place digit. So, the ones place digits in Roman numerals are I is one. If we give two I's, it will become two. I, I, I is three. Now, I, V is four. Now why? I'll come to that later. No more I's. V is 5, VI I is 6, VI I, I is 7, VI I, I, I is 8, and IX is 9. So let's go ahead with tens place digits. And what are they? As we knew before, X is 10, XX is 20, XXX is 30, XL. Is 40, L is 50, LX is 60, LXX is 70, LXXX is 80, and XC, C means 100, XC is 90. So let's go ahead with hundreds place. They are, as we knew before, C is 100. CC is 200, CCC is 300, CD is 400, 500 is D, DC is 600, 
D C C is seven hundred. D C C C is eight hundred. C M M means thousand. C M is nine hundred. Now comes the rules, which you must know. I'll tell you everything. How it is happening? So the first thing you can't have more than three same symbols in one row. Well, I think you see that in all the examples I've given before. That is, you can't have x x x x. You have x that is ten. You can have x x. That is twenty. You can have x x x. That is thirty. But you can't have x x x x as forty. It's getting to another number, which is x l. L means fifty, and x means ten. X l. You can't have it. Same happens with the ones place numbers. And you must have. Um, I V as four. You can't have I I I I as four. This is wrong. Same happens with the hundreds place. You must have C D as four hundred. So this is the first rule for you. The second rule is add smaller values that are placed after、uh, large symbol values. You can also place them before if you want a lesser number than a round one, and if you want more, then you must place them after them, after the great number. Let's take the example of eleven and nine. So, what's the round number closest to eleven? It is ten. Ten is the closest round number near eleven and nine for both. But what to do? So x plus i can be eleven, isn't it? Ten plus one is eleven. So as we're adding it, we might put the i after x. Is this clear? I hope it is. I'm giving one more example. Thirty-one. Thirty plus one is thirty-one. So what is the symbol for thirty? The symbol for thirty is x x x. Yes, that's right. So x x x. It's just adding up three x. That is three tens. X plus x plus x. So it's becoming thirty. And for thirty one, we must add one more one. So thirty one is x x x i. You can see it here at this side. C C C is three hundred because hundred plus hundred plus hundred, and we want one more one. So as we're adding up, so we'll have C C C I. One thing more that is for the case of subtraction. Now what is happening there? Just the small value will sit or will be placed. Before the main number, for example, ten plus one, x plus i is eleven, and ten minus one, I mean, x minus i is nine. Same case with six and four. So for the four, it's not a round number this side this time, but it's a basic number. What's the basic number? Near four and six is five, isn't it? Five is v. Now, for six, we're just adding up v plus i. That means five plus one. So v i is six. In case of four, it's just being subtracted. In case of six, we added one, and in case of four, we're subtracting one. Such as seventy-three. What seventy-three now? Congratulations to all of the people who have got it, and no worries if you have not got it.